Hello everybody, it's Tommy and welcome back to another speed build for the Disney save. Today we have a Peter Pan lot. This is the Mermaid Lagoon from the film. It's like a little tucked away area that is a private swimming area specifically for the mermaids. And this is our only beach lot for Sulani. It's an exclusive lot type that comes with this world. They currently, as far as I know, haven't made this available in any other world yet. I'm always sort of hopeful that they do eventually give us another world that has some water lots that are more like Sulani's. I know Tortosa has water lots or water like looking front facing lots but they don't have any that go into the water as far as I'm aware. So you get this special lot type that is sort of like necessary for the world because of course you need a beach in Sulani and this is actually the lot that comes by default as a beach. So I wanted to keep it that. It's not the biggest one and it was always the immediate answer here was to put a mermaid lagoon. This like private cove little area, have lots of coral, plants, a beautiful area for mermaids to come hang out. It's right next to King Triton's castle. It's right near Prince Eric's castle. And then I wanted to go ahead and add some like bonus towny mermaids. So the next video will actually be a townies video for extra mermaids that are, you know, just like extra ones you can have for this lot specifically, but also just a couple more mermaids for the save file because why not? I love them and we probably won't get too many opportunities in the future to do them. I can see maybe like some ideas that can fit into Tortosa, but not too much more outside of that. And you really do get to see like a couple that when I think of Mermaid Lagoon from Peter Pan, they stick out in my memory. So I wanted to make some of those girlies and that'll be the next video. This is a really quick speed build. It is basically just 100% debug and live edit objects. I've got the waterfall going. If you're not aware that waterfall item comes with this pack, I believe, and it does function. It will actually move when it's in live mode. So that's kind of a neat little feature here. I wanted to build up the back area and have it kind of like circle around like this because obviously it's maybe supposed to be a little bit more hidden if you go with the idea that mermaids are not supposed to be something that you see every day. They have to have these like tucked away areas where they can swim in peace. There's also some lore from the third Little Mermaid film of Ariel's mom and Triton and the girls kind of being in an area similar to this when Ariel's mom died. So there is like that crossover as well if you wanted to have even more reasons to have something like this in the save file. But the Mermaid Lagoon from Peter Pan is like one of my favorite things to ever exist in a Disney film. I remember being totally starstruck with the idea of it even as like a little kid. It was my favorite thing ever. It was actually Disney's first portrayal of mermaids in a film I believe. So it was just like something that I personally very much resonated with as a child. Obsessed with the mermaids. Obsessed with how they look this entire area just like Wendy wanted to go here very excited about that concept and then they have like all these cool rocks that kind of come out of the water where they lounge they've got waterfalls coming down where they do their hair there's lots of like seashells and starfish and collectibles in this area it's like a little safe haven for them Ariel's sisters and Ariel could all come here and like would love it here as well so it's definitely I think personally something that Ariel and the gang would frequent I would love more areas and like more lots in Sulani because of course we should have done another beach. That's like my one regret so far with Sulani. I needed one more lot to do one more beach so we could do more of like your stereotypical beach like with lifeguard chairs and sand castles. That kind of an idea maybe could have done something as a tie over from Lilo and Stitch possibly. I could have done a replacement lot and done like a different type to go here but honestly the way that this lot is shaped and how it goes mostly into the water sort of vertically I don't think it would work out the way that I'm sort of picturing. I need like a longer, wider, half water facing lot to pull off something like that. So ultimately would end up replacing something like Prince Eric's castle. And I don't foresee anybody wanting to replace that castle because it's beautiful, but also because it's got some really major characters in it. And to me, if you get rid of Eric's castle, you kind of have to get rid of the Atlantica castle too. And Triton and all of his daughters wouldn't make sense to have in the save file anymore either. So it just doesn't work as a replacement lot as 
well as some other ideas that we've had in the past. Lots and lots of fish will spawn here of various kinds. They come from these little lily pads. I did tuck a couple of logs in here as well that spawn turtles. They're more like regular turtles. They're not, obviously they're aquatic turtles, but they're not like sea turtles. Although I think just being in Sulani and like being around the water, you do have the chance for random things like that to spawn. I believe there's even dolphins that can randomly spawn in the given water area. The only thing that made this build sort of challenging was me wanting to do all of this like coral and decor. And I knew I wanted to have the rocks in the middle that are the lounging rocks that the mermaids actually hang out on right in the center, but it still has to function as a swimmable beach area. So it doesn't look, it's not that big. I won't lie to you. It's not like a huge area to swim. You can go around it if you want to. You could go stop by Triton's castle and swim around that if you'd like to as well. There's plenty of places to swim in Sulani, but if you come here, you're going to be confined to this sort of like area right in the front here. And there is enough space in the back behind the rocks, around the rocks. There is more space than it looks like to actually swim, but you also got to remember that these are debugged objects. So your Sims will swim kind of through them a little bit. It's not going to conflict with the swimming as much as you might think. They're just going to ignore them basically, some of them. It depends on what it is. So you should be able to get quite a few Sims actually swimming here happily. Now I included some objects that obviously you do not see in the Mermaid Lagoon, but I think makes sense for this area. And I wanted to, you know, add a couple of little details, my own touch here and there. There has to be some lights. So I use those wedding pack lights, those like orbs that go on and around and near water. To me, they look like pearls or they look like something really special that you would kind of find like, I don't know, deep underwater, a mermaid treasure possibly. Put a couple of those around to kind of make it so that if you happen to stop here in the evening, it is not as dark as it could be. I wanted to use some of those romantic garden stuff statues and put them in the background. I feel like they're just so mermaid vibes. They're like as close as we get. Even though this pack introduced mermaids, the amount of like the lack of mermaid objects, not even a statue, not even like, there's just so many things that they could have done that they didn't do. Luckily, I, w I did remember that there is the whale item. It's a debug item. There's like a, a two piece set. One side is a fin and the other side is a whale head. And it's like a rock that, I don't know, you probably find it naturally somewhere in Sulani, but it's in the debug category. And then you can sort of use one side or the other, obviously. So I took the fin and sort of tucked it off to the side there. And then I also wanted to add like little vases. I can imagine them filling the water up in the vases and using it to like pour over their heads. Again, that's why I like, I liked the romantic garden stuff. I felt like it really fit the vibe. It's like got a similar concept. The girls holding the vases, pouring the water. And that is pretty much going to be the end of today's build. Really simple, but kind of pretty and special. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. If you'd like to support the Disney save on Patreon, you can do so by clicking the link in my description box down below or the one at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all in the next one.